I sail, I build model boats, but also have to do laundry. This is Idaho Model Shipbuilder. Good evening, everyone. I've had this house for 15 years, and this house has had, um, was designed for a washer and dryer station or a combo due to its limited space. So you can see that I've replaced it with just a traditional top loaded washer. And the advantage of these, they're affordable, as you know, and they're reliable, and they last a long time and uh, a lot more efficient. That way you don't have to replace the washer and dryer. So this is an idea what I did after, you know, I've had three of them already go out in 15 years. Um, and, uh, you know, I've talked to the, uh, a lot of these uh, places like Lowe's and Home Depot, and they say they've had a lot of complaints. Brand new ones are being returned within a year. So what does that do when you're in a situation when you have a house that's designed for it? So I just got tired of having to move these all the time. So I came up with this idea because, you know, I enjoy wash, you know, if I have to do my own laundry, I like to do it with ease and nothing more reliable than a traditional top front loading with an actual agitator that does a good job cleaning all those stains and everything on your clothes. So today was a long process because after a week or two, I didn't have this machine since my other one was broken down. So I came up with this idea where if you have, if your house is next, if this room is next to a garage, this is an idea what I did. I basically took an extension cord. They sell them on Amazon or you could probably go find it at your local Lowe's or any um, hardware department. Get in a, an extension cord and I will show it on this video what I've done. And uh, it was very simple, and I kind of came up with kind of a, a simple idea of using some just cheap uh, materials, as you'll see on the video. And uh, I also made a little flange that's sealed. That's really easy. And yet, if somebody, if, you were, if I were to sell this house, if somebody wants to go ahead and put the combo, everything's just the same. But... I don't know how a lot of these houses are set up, but if they have it next to a garage and you have space, what I did was I didn't make any uh, waste out of those washer units. So I saved both of them. So now I have two dryers. So if they ever go out, I won't have to buy a dryer for a long time, as you've seen in the video. So, but uh, this is a way that you can, you know, have the traditional way of having a washer and a dryer and you won't have to like replace them at the same time or you know you know you can get it this is a mag tag this is the top of the line so you can get those inexpensive 250 dollar amanas whirlpools and i'm sure those are just fine i've seen some reviews but i did buy one and i had to return it so i said if i'm going to go do this again I'm going to get the best. So here I am with the classic Maytag top front washer. And uh, it's been its first day and I like it a lot. But um, this is what I'm really excited about. That um, you do it this way. You can just have the traditional washer without having to do any you know, change. Because these houses are designed this way. But if you have a garage, I basically just took the extension cord right around into the room. And put behind the wall where the garage is the um, washer unit. And I've tested it and it's fine. And, um, you know, I don't have to really worry about ventilation. Of course, if I wanted to be fancy, I could do that. But since it's out there, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. I've already, you know, dried some clothes and it worked out just fine. So this is a simple, inexpensive way to do it. Where you can have traditional, simple appliances. Rather than being stuck with those combos. I'm sure maybe the newer ones... A lot of reasons why I like the top load is because I don't like it having to bend down and reach and try to reach for clothes that you can't find. I've always been an admirer of the top front load and some of those washer stations have it, but um, they like, again, I've had bad luck with them. And uh, I've even here in the uh, hard, the uh, appliance stores are saying that too. So I've got done, tired of moving these 
So this is the idea of what I've done. So you can see through the video how I've done it. And just an idea I wanted to share in my little handyman part of Idaho Model Shipbuilder. You have a good night. Thank you. dream got a spare one in case the other dies you can see how it's plugged in <laughs>